Hi. I get a lot of requests for the controls on the track loader here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start at the floor at the bottom, which is going to be my foot pedals, and that is, of course, what makes me move and track. So I'm going to start there, and I'm going to work my way up. I'm going to get the left joystick after that, and the buttons on it, and then the right joystick, and the buttons on it. I thought about running two cameras and doing a picture in a picture, but you'll get the gist of this by doing what I'm going to do, and you'll understand that. So this should feed the question that I get asked on a weekly basis on how a track loader runs. So here we go. All right, that's my foot pedals right there. They rock, I'll cut the pilot off. They rock back and forth and that goes forward and backwards. So like if I turn this away, this is going frontwards. So if I push the pedals, both of them forward, both tracks move forward at the same time. See, I'm moving. If I go back, I go back. All right. If I turn around the opposite way, backwards, the pedals do not swap. So you have to get used to that because it's the opposite. So if I turn around backwards back here and I want to go that away, I have to push backwards on the foot pedals to go that away. So they do not, the, the pedals do not reverse when you swap front to rear on your tracks. All right, so we got that. And the foot pedals have these hand grabs on them where you can run them like that too. All right, right here on the side is my pilot uh, safety right here, and it disarms my pilot system. So if it's back, won't nothing on the machine work, do anything. But when I flip it forward right there, the pilot system is activated. Anything I touch hydraulically will move. All right, so now we got the left joystick. This to the left, swings it to the left. To the right, swings it to the right. Okay, on this joystick is a trigger switch right there. That rotates the, the grapple to the right, which will be clockwise. See it right there going? And then this switch right here on the back rotates it counterclockwise. All right, see that right there? All right. Then you got a forward and a back on the joystick. If I pull it back, that pulls my stick boom in. See? See it coming in? If I push out on the joystick, the stick boom goes out. All right. So we got the swing, the stick boom in and out, and my grapple rotate right here. That's what all this stuff is right here. No, you do. All right. So now over here on this joystick, left and right works my live heel if i pull it in it's going to be just like curling a bucket on a backhoe or an excavator it pulls the live heel back up right there if i push to the right on a joystick it pushes my live heel down you see it working right there no okay now forward and backwards if i go pull back on it that's my main boom right there you can see the main boom going up if I push on it main boom goes down that's going going straight down to the ground right there whereas like on a on a normal trailer mounted loader this would be your stick boom back and forth would be your stick boom and then this over here would be your main boom so it's reversed on this machine now the trigger, this one has a trigger on it too. The trigger on the front of it right there, if I hit that trigger, it closes the grapple. See the grapple closing right there? All right, if I hit this trigger on the back, that opens the grapple. Let me get it. You see it opening right there, hit that trigger on the back, that opens the grapple. Okay, all right, now to run the grapple saw, the grapple saw is a two a two part process to work the grapple and i'm not going to be able to film and work the grapple work the grapple saw at the same time let me give it some fuel here all right the way the grapple works the, the grapple saw to activate the grapple saw it gets its pressure from the saw from the from the grapple so what you have to do is you have to hold the grapple closed on the trigger. You hold it closed, that charges the grapple, 
And then, when the, while you're holding the grapple closed like that, then you hit this button right here on top, and it opens a return valve back here behind the cab, and it lets the oil flow make a circuit. Well, when it makes that circuit, while you got that grapple charged right there, then the saw runs. That's how the that's how the grapple saw. That's how it. That's how it. Uh, that's how it works, and everything is just like that. So you got. Uh, that's pretty much it. I do have a boost button right here. Like if I'm swinging a really heavy load up on a trailer or anything like that, and I want to get a surge on the machine, I can take and hold that down right there, and it'll give me a little bit of a, a little bit of a hydraulic surge on it to get me on through whatever I want to do. I don't use that a lot, uh, just uh, occasionally, and I'll use that. But but that's how the the hot the controls work on the loader now i'm going to show you something else here too all right watch this i've got the stuff you see how far that stick moves all right like on a normal loader or a skidder or a, or a rubber tire buncher you don't have that much clay that much travel in a stick like this does that's one of the reasons why an excavator is so smooth like on a like on a tree, a rubber tire cutter, for instance, you've only got about that much right there back and forth, unless your joysticks wore out or anything. And with this thing, you can finesse it so much more because you have so much more, so much more travel on the stick right here. And that's just part of the reason why the excavator hydraulics are, are so smooth. There's some other stuff to go into it also. But, but the other thing too that I like about this machine is you get no heat off the pilots on you. Like on an old Prentice loader or anything like that, or like on a Tiger Cat track cutter that we got, the, the joystick will burn your legs up in it. And on these things, like mine and Kevin's right here, even with the pilot lines, it's not electric over hydraulic. The only thing electric over hydraulic are these switches right here. The rest of it is all still pilot systems. You don't get any heat from the joysticks on your legs. So. Uh, I hope that this video will answer a lot of questions that I get all the time about the how the track loader works. So that's it in a nutshell. Y'all take care. We'll catch y'all later. See y'all.